Yes. Well, for a long time I had heard communism without telling people who was going to buy it. My own view of that was that it was kind of interesting since I controlled it and he had never talked to me about it. Uh, but ultimately he started to call and actually I didn't take his calls for a while, not because I'm that kind of person. I'll take anybody's call. I was busy as hell at the time. Um, and finally, you know, we had shows there. Jag and Beck are apparently on shows and they're still on. And I said, you know, I really ought to meet this guy. And I went out of my way to meet him and he came over and we had a meeting. And of course, when he first came over, he emphasized duopoly, saying that they had television, we had television, the law had changed, great advantage. He talked about exchanging his uh, our television stations for his cable channels, which was interesting. But it's clear he always had in mind the big deal. And finally, he surfaced the big deal. I got Tom Dooley and Philippe, who remain my very close friends, and were very important to me in my business life. And I said to him, look, you know, we're, we, we don't think we're interested, but listen, there may be more to this than, uh, than you see. And I could see then that I had always said we wouldn't buy a network, but this was not a network. This was the biggest radio company in the world. This was the biggest outdoor advertising company in the world. This was a company with enormous strength in television. Um, and the network was, uh, was turning around into becoming one of the major forces in that business. So, and I could see then that this could be an advertising juggernaut, which it is. And the reason for that was that it would be the only company in the four fastest growing areas of the media business, which is radio, outdoor advertising, broadcast, and cable programming. So, and no other company can do that. That's why today, when people in the other companies worry about advertising, our advertising is strong. Because we start, we're doing twice the industry in advertising. Because we start with those assets and also the ability to cross sell across all those platforms. So it has become an, an advertising juggernaut. Meanwhile, it's more than that. And so we have 27 and a half hours of time about your business, so to speak, primetime programming. I don't mean in CBS that we create. We, and when you add syndicated programming, we have 71 hours of programming. And by the way, this has never happened in the history of the television business. Of the five top shows in syndication, and you know that's where the money is made in television, five belong to Viacom. It's never happened. We're a great company.